Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to do a super interesting short little video and uh, what we're going to do is how to how to have graphs with with dynamic titles that is your titles change based on the selections that you make and um, I think it's quite a cool thing to have in your um, in your dashboards and if you're interested uh, to learn how to do it stick around. So let's start with let's just create a super simple shot uh, just so um, let's let's just say your month and let's just use sales as our yeah and uh, absolutely doesn't matter but all right so and let's go to filter pane because we want to make selections. So let's go to filter pane here and let's add some filtrations that we want to do. So let's say product and let's say country. Let's do two different filtrations here. And now this is this is your, um, we usually never never have such a big, yeah. All right. So now we could give this a title. Usually you type something like um, this is sales over time or something like that. But that's not dynamic because every time you select a product here, you can't the only way to know which product you've selected is to go here and check which product or click on this and see which product. But I want the product name to appear based on my selections. So there's a way to do that. And what you can do here is let's go to edit. And here, what we can do is go to appearance, general, go to title. And here we go to open expression editor and what we're going to do is so if you want a static title you put them in brackets like this so you say uh, product right and when you click apply you will see that this is your title now but when you make selections, nothing is going to appear because this is a static title again. Now, how do, how do we make it dynamic? So let's go to editor and here we have an expression called get field selections. That is, you can, you can tell which field you want. And every time you make a selections, it brings in the values of that field. So how can we use that here? So here we want to get the names of the products that we select, right? And we can use this function called get field selections to get the names of those. So now you have a static one. You want to combine that just like how you do in Python, you, you, you use plus in click, you use and so you say and then you call the function get field selections and which field selections are you that you do you want to bring in that is the field name is called product there so if you can see here it's a product yeah so now what we're saying is the title i want the title to be always products followed by all the selections that you make for the product in the product field let's click apply so now you have products let's see if it works now i'm going into products to select and i'm selecting one and you see here, now it shows products as I know shoes. Let's make another selections here or a couple of them. And now you see that products, a running shoe, I know shoes, um, Atlas Lusikofta. So now you have a super dynamic kind of title. I think it's really cool. Now we can, uh, let's see if we can add one extra. So we have country here. So we want to add country as well, right? So we can add that and country. So this is going to be a static one again. And 
get field selections. And this time the field that we want to get the selections from is called country. So we bring in, we type country here, but we need to add and here. So let's see what happens in this case. So now we have all of these and country is nothing because nothing is selected. The moment I select a country, here it tells me which countries are selected as well, which products and which countries. Um, and I think sometimes it makes it much more easier for people who are reading the graphs to kind of see um, what are the selections that's made, what is the graph actually showing. There's one step higher than this, which I like to do because, so let's, let's take away everything. And it says products, country, right? It's kind of, I, I think that it doesn't look that great. What we could do is we want it to show all. We want it to say products all, if nothing, none of the products are selected and um, country all, if none of the country is selected. And instead, only when some selections are made, it's going to bring in the names. So how do we do that? Let's go to edit again. Let's go inside this and we can do this by nesting it in an if statement. And what we can do is we can say that if we have a function called get selected count. So now what get selected count does is it brings in the number of selections that you have made in a particular field. So let's say under products, you have selected two products, then get field selections brings the names of those two products. Get selected count brings the count of selections that you're made. So in this case, it would bring two. So we could use that to use an if, uh, statement here. So let's say if get selected count for the field product is greater than zero, then I wanted to bring the names of the products and the names of the countries. Otherwise, I wanted to say all data. Yeah, what are we saying here? So now if get selected count, if, if we make a selection in one of the products, then the get selected count would be greater than zero, in which case I wanted to bring only the names of the selections that I've made. Otherwise, I wanted to say all data. So of course, you can like you can even add one for a country here, um, but we're going to keep it simple. So all data here now it shows no selections is made, so it's showing all data. But now if I select basketball shoes, it says basketball shoes and um, no country selected. And now when I select a country, it says products basket shoes and the country that's selected. But the moment I take away everything, no selections are made, it says all data. Or I could change it to products all, country all, um, or however you want it. So this was a super simple tutorial. Hope you liked it. Really appreciate if you would give a like and uh, subscribe to the channel to learn more. Have a good one, guys. See you in the next one. Peace.